The final thing we're going to do is just build an animated tour of the visualizations that we put together. And this will help our viewers really understand what we're trying to convey and kind of a story about this data as opposed to just some static printouts. PowerMap enables this through its tour function. So all we need to do is walk through our story the way that uh, we might if we were sitting with someone and then capture additional scenes as we go through. So the first thing I might want to do is add in my population density to show my viewers what the population distribution in the U.S. looks like and to kind of illustrate that we have a tremendous population in the northeast part of the country and that's where the storm is scheduled to, to actually fall. In my next scene I might want to zoom in on the northeast where the storm is actually going to be falling and gain some perspective on it as I add in what the rainfall situation is going to look like. And here I can already see that most of that rain is going to be in the northeast Boston kind of corridor. And in my next scene I might want to then zoom in on that particular area of highest risk and then add in my elderly population overlay so I can really see where the rain is going to fall versus where this high risk population is and this will help reinforce my planning story that maybe in Suffolk County I need to oversupply pharmacies and bring in more generators than I might need to in another place like perhaps Middlesex in New Jersey. So once we're done we can just click the play tour button And then as the animation occurs, we can talk about how a rain is going to fall, uh, point out where it's going to fall, and that we might want to zoom in on that and really take a look at those high-risk areas. And this will give our audience a really good sense of how this data is playing together and the kind of story and information and insight that it can give us.